Hey, what's up? This is Mitch De Klein and welcome to another video. If you were looking for ways to sidechain in FL Studio, you probably find something about the Fruity Peak controller. And that is also a thing that I found when I started out producing and I wanted to know how to sidechain. But in this video, I'm going to give you two very easy ways to get the same sidechaining effect in FL Studio 20. I laid down a basic beat for this example, just to kick an hi-hat, and then we start off with the bass. If you play them together without sidechain. It sounds really rubbish because the bass and the kick are in the same frequency spectrum and they are now fighting for their space. So what we have to do is give the kick a little bit more space by ducking the bass when the kick hits. So basically when the kick hits, the volume of the bass must increase over time. And a method that I almost always use to sidechain is just creating an automation clip of the volume of the bass. You then see the automation clip right here. If you double click on it, you get this panel. And if you turn the skew all the way to the left, you can see that it's changing right here. And then the amount also to the left. You can see that a side chaining pattern is formed right here. So when the kick hits, the volume of the baseline is zero and it builds up towards the other kick and when the other kick hits the same happens over time so now it sounds a lot better already you have to lower the volume a bit And you can also edit uh, the settings. So if you have a very short kick, then you might want to change this knob, the PW. And if you have a very long bass, you might want to turn it a little further. But that's all up to you and uh, the track that you're making. So this was pretty simple for the bass line. Now we can do the same for a pad. Create automation clip. Double click. Turn skew to the left, amount to the left. And for a pad, I mostly don't like to have it 100% uh, sidechained because it doesn't really interfere with the bass or with the kick that much. But uh, it can help to give it a certain groove. So then I normally start tweaking around till I get the result that, that I want. All right, so this was one very quick way to sidechain. Now I'm gonna show you another one. Uh, I build an arp right here. Pretty simple. Uh, I assigned it to a mix track, number five. And then I open up the FL Studio plugin called Crossbeat. There are all sorts of different options or settings you can use right here, as you can see. But there's also the sidechain option right here. I think this one is a little bit too much, uh, but luckily you can, you can edit the sidechain in any way that you want it. So 
So this one gives you a little bit more um, freedom to edit it uh, the way you want it, to not have it sound completely the same every time. So for example, you can do something like this. Gives it a little bit more variation. And if you want to uh, lower the effect of the sidechain, you can just turn the volume right here. That's completely off. And then we turn it back on. Now all together, side chained. And not side chained. So in my opinion, the sidechain version sounds way smoother than the not sidechain version. So, so these were two methods that I use a lot when it comes to sidechaining in my tracks. Hope it was helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because more videos are coming very soon. And hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.